I'm John Law, this is Chasing Cars, and overnight at the Guangzhou Auto Show, Genesis has revealed a new electrified version of its premium midsize SUV, the GV70. Called the electrified GV70, the new electric GV70 is going to sit at the top of the regular GV70 range when it arrives in Australia in the middle, or in the first half rather, of 2022. So that's pretty exciting. It's going to sit along all the combustion engine options as well as the sort of flagship in the range. But what are the key numbers? Well, Genesis claims between 400 to 500 kilometres of range from a 75 kilowatt hour battery. At least we think it's going to be about that big. It doesn't use the eGMB platform that Genesis Genesis is using for its EVs such as the GV60 and Hyundai is using for the Ioniq 5. Instead it uses a modified version of the Genesis GV70 platform. So let's talk about what that means for this vehicle. First off where it's going to sit in the Australian lineup. Well it's going to sit above the rest of the combustion engine vehicles because it offers plenty of grunt. There's a 158 kilowatt 2.2 litre turbo diesel sold here. There's also a 2.5 litre turbo petrol with 224 kilowatts and then the GV70 range is currently headlined by a 279 kilowatt, 530 newton meter, 3.5 litre twin turbo V6. But this electric car with dual motors makes a total of 360 kilowatts at maximum attack when you press the boost mode button on the steering wheel, which we'll come back to later. And that means it's good for four and a half seconds, not to 100 k's an hour, according to Genesis. Now, this hasn't been individually verified, but still, that's pretty rapid for a midsize SUV. So that's what it's gonna be like. It's not gonna be a standalone model. It's gonna be sold alongside the regular Genesis range. And as you can see, it doesn't look that different to the regular car. It's only the blanked off grill that kind of gives away the electrified nature. So it's going to sit above the Genesis GV60 in terms of pure size because that car is a small SUV. But it has a lot of the same features of that car, at least when it comes to battery size and charging. So for a start, we anticipate, or rather Genesis suggests, it's going to have between 400 to 500 kilometers of range when it's verified in the WLTP combined cycle. So that's pretty good. It's not going to be class leading. It's going to be right up there with its probably main rival when it arrives, the BMW iX3, which is also a modified version of a combustion engine platform car. So that'll be an interesting little comparison when we get them alongside each other. One of the main things we know it'll do is charge at a maximum of 350 kilowatts. So that's ultra rapid charging and it should see the Genesis power itself up from zero to 80% of charge in around 18 minutes, which is exactly Exactly the same as the GV60 and really that's no mistake. We can calculate from the charge times and all that sort of thing that it's probably going to have a 75 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack. Finally let's talk about the design of this GV70, the electrified version, because ostensibly it looks identical to the petrol variant. Now of course there are some very subtle changes on the outside including something we've seen from HMCA group cars before, the blanked off grille, and that's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to tell this vehicle apart from its combustion counterparts. There are slightly different lower valences in the front and rear bumpers as well, but yeah, really it's a very similar car. That's either going to be a great thing or a not so great thing, depending on how you like your EVs. You can let me know in the comments section down below whether you prefer this kind of subtle electric treatment or you prefer something a little bit more out there, such as the Kia EV6. And then inside, it's the same story. Really, it's shown here with a lovely ivory white leather smothered interior that we sort of come to expect from Genesis. So it's going to be a pretty premium, pretty plush space to spend a lot of your time. And really, the only way you can tell this EV, electrified GV70, apart from its counterparts, is this slightly cheesy boost button on the steering wheel, which ups power from 320 to 360 kilowatts for a short period of time, so Genesis say. And also, the 12.3 inch digital cluster has a slightly different readout to show power rather than RPMs from the engine. So that's pretty much it in terms of the design changes. So let's just cover off all the points we've talked about in this video to sum this up. Firstly, and most importantly, this car is coming to Australia in the first half of next year. Now, we anticipate pricing to be somewhere above the already range-topping Genesis GV70 with the 3.5-litre twin-turbo engine. It's going to start north of $90,000, probably $90,000 to $100,000 when it arrives here, which is pretty good for a luxury vehicle that offers plenty of space. We know it's going to offer a 
maximum of 360 kilowatts of power and 700 newton meters of torque. And we also know it's going to have at least 400 kilometers of WLTP range. But the rest of the specification is still yet to be locked in, including final pricing and exactly what form it will take, whether it will be only available in upper model variants or whether you'll be able to get the electric variant across the range. But we're going to find all of that out in good time. And until then, I'd love it if you could let me know what you think of the electrified GV70 in the comment section down below. While you're down there, we'd also love it if you could hit subscribe on our way to 100K. And if you want to read more about the GV70, you can also head over to the Chasing Cars website where we've got plenty of articles covering this car and its counterparts and key rivals. So as always, thank you for watching Chasing Cars.